TRS Clips, the place you arrive at if you just want the best bits of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. Let's You've traveled around the country. So which yeah. part of India do you find like very, very fascinating? Um, I think all different uh, parts have their uh, charm. Uh, but uh, one place that I very much uh, feel at home in is Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, Jaipur, Udaipur, uh, Jodhpur. I uh, have a lot of friends there. Uh, I also love to spend time in Goa. Uh, I like the whole vibe there and the beach and uh, we used to have a place there. So so I, I just, that feels like my second home from mm. Bombay. Uh, then I like the mountains, uh, Dharamshala. Uh, it's, it's also very, very sacred. And, you know, I, I really like the the energy that is there and, you know, I've had the opportunity to, you know, have seatings uh, with the Dalai Lama and, you know, that is just a place that has a, a special connect. And... Uh, how, was, how was your meeting with the Dalai Lama? It was... Uh, I met him, uh, you know, a few times now, but the last time I met him was on, was on my birthday about five years ago. And uh, it was very special. We what, had a good what conversation. Did he tell you? I mean, it's a very long story on, on, you know, how that meeting actually happened and why it happened. And I think that we too, I think we'll have to do like a separate okay. podcast only about that. But what, but what was so, the gist of the conversation? Like, what did he tell you? Well, he told me a couple of things. He told, he told me about what I should focus on in terms of what I'm building, in terms of, of why I'm in India, you know, in terms of my uh, opportunity to educate and in terms of uh, uh, touching more people uh, okay. around different subjects. But he also told me and that I have a third eye. Mm, so he uh, That I agree with very strongly. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, that was special. So he kept on like picking me on my forehead and like third eye, third eye. Yeah. So that was a special, special moment. What was his energy? Oh, it's just like, it just doesn't even feel like, you know, that uh, he is uh, human. You know, he, he is... Uh, he just puts you also on a frequency um, and I give you that as well. I just feel so comfortable with you and you because we're just on the same you know, frequency. And I, I really felt that when you're with him, you just feel so at ease and you're feeling very relaxed. And uh, he's also very child uh, alike. So, you know, he's um, like a child, but still, you know, 80, 85 years, I think mm. this year. But it's very um, uh, easygoing and... Uh, and, uh, you know, have a very guiding, uh, strong spirit. Mm, okay. You haven't uh, met him personally yet? Not personally, but it's on, it's in my heart to meet him. Yes. Whatever so. you have, put it out there, it will happen. That's yeah. exactly what I 100%. did when I wanted to have that person, mm. personal, uh, you know, discussion with him. 